not a problem. Okay. And I've been, what happened to you being like And I've been here in the past. We've had one of the You've got about anything about the hub? Yeah, don't shoot too many threes for guys that can't hit the threes. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that's just me. And I'm old. I'm going to question here again. Hmm. In the back today. Just walked in. I thought maybe I maybe I missed it. I'm sorry. Um, all the metrics have them as one of the better offensive teams in the country. Um, obviously it's the first game. You guys struggled guarding them again today. Their offense just seems like it's hard to guard. What is it about Marquette that provides these challenges? Um, they're a very good team. Uh, Polick is. I think he's the head of the snake. He does everything for them. Uh, he makes all the right plays that they need to be made on on offense. He he drives, he puts it, uh, he facilitates. He does all the offensive things in terms of facilitating to get those guys uh, open shots. Um, and then how long did you know before the game that Kudis would not be with your team? And did anything uh, Kudis is dealing with some family issues, some personal family issues. That's that's all I can say on that. I was told that yesterday. Um, and I'll just leave it like that. All right, uh, Coach. Hello, Ron. Um, you guys, again, particularly in the first half, were soft in the corners. They were finding wide open guys in the corners. Um, I know that was an emphasis coming, or has been an emphasis for you. How do you turn the corner on that? How do you get the guys not to sag in too much, not to be caught in no man's land? Well, uh, you know, we we want to sag when when we we need to help when when we needed to. If the ball's on the weak side, we have to be in. Sometimes we we tend to hug, um, and then when they pre pre uh, penetrate, we then we we overhelp. So we have to. There's a fine line between helping and overhelping. I thought that we did it too much of it in the, in the first half. Did a little better in the second half. We were switching a lot more in the, in the second half than we did in the first half. Um, but uh, they were just tonight. Today they were hitting on all cylinders. What was the impact of not having cutest early? It seemed like you guys were were, were kind of like you didn't have any gravity inside, and they were able to to take advantage. Um, you know, Brad played extremely well for us in our game against Providence. Uh, not saying that he didn't play well today. He did some good things. Uh, Kudis has been in in college now for four years, uh, so he has a little bit more experience than than than, uh, than Brad does. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, Brad had to step up. Next man up. You know, we just didn't get the job done to, uh, today. I believe this is a, a Cook's third game this season with five blocks in a game. Um, how proud are you of his development into one of the best defensive players in the conference? I love his. I love his energy. I love his effort. I love the fight that he that he brings. He started a little slow, but he was able. I mean, those blocks that he made down the stretch were were key blocks. Marquette was almost fifty percent on threes today. How were they able to get get good, good looks from from long range? Overhelping, uh, Kolek making uh, great. I mean, at, at halftime he had seven assists. Uh, he ended up with with eight, so he only had one in the second half. But I thought that 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 uh, led to those open threes, uh, and then sometimes we overhelp and they were able to kick it out to the threes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.